Yo, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Tay TV. In my reaction video for today, I will be reacting to simple habits that change my life and body composition. Like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Let's get into this video. Melted all the way, but I'm just going. Some of the benefits of the sunlight. Getting at least six minutes of sunlight. First thing in the morning, 10, my first set. Second time I do it, it gets warm. So getting sunlight first thing in the morning is beneficial for a multitude of reasons. One thing first is to help to regulate the hormones, help to regulate our circadian clock as far as how we sleep at night and making sure that we get a full night's rest. Again, this is subjective to your lifestyle. Some people are night shift workers and they may not be able to benefit from direct sunlight. But let's talk about the benefits of getting vitamin D first thing in the morning for men. First and foremost, vitamin D is essential to help to increase testosterone. So you walking out first thing in the morning, you're getting that benefit as a man, as a woman, our hormones, that dopamine, both male and female. I don't want to make it subjective to, you know, one gender or the other. I'm honestly shocked that people still want to know what this is going for. The CMOS Secure is a mixture of organic algae. You have your CMOS, you have your bladder act, and your burdock food. All is essentially important for detoxing. 92 minerals that our body needs to function properly this has it. When I say detoxing, detoxing our system from environmental damage, what we consume on a daily basis, these things are important to incorporate in our diet. So I'm getting tons of reviews. People are seeing or benefiting their hair, their skin, their nails, their weight. You know, losing weight, energy levels have increased drastically. So definitely don't take my word for it. Visit Elpo Nutriment, read the honest reviews, and let's get back to it. I could say for sure it'll help you feel better, increase your libido, increases with weight loss. There is nothing that is more beneficial for weight loss. For me, I could be training all year round in the gym, but first thing, as soon as it starts getting warm out, I'm jogging, I'm running, the weight just easily just start melting off. And I just think to myself, what's the difference? The difference is I'm outside in the sun. It's just that connection. We need to be outdoors. We need to benefit like from that. And now that we're more yeah, indoors, job, technology just kind of distracts us and keeps us indoors more often than we should be. We're not benefiting from that. We have people struggling with depression. And again, I'm not a doctor. I don't, I don't want to go into that. Some of the benefits of the sunlight Getting at least six minutes of sunlight first thing in the morning automatically improves our quality of sleep. Getting direct sunlight also adds to melting that pooch. For those of us who are trying to lose that pooch, direct sunlight is gonna help you get there a lot faster. Again, I don't wanna just mention that solely is going to do it. Nutrition is key, toning is key, all of it is necessary. While we're at work, on your break, walking around 10, 15 minutes is beneficial. If you have a phone call, talk on the phone outside as you walk to get the benefits of being outdoors, you know? Johnson, why are you naked? Because my t-shirt sucks. Look at Jimson. He's wearing a true classic tee. It fits him tight and all the right. I mentioned this in the last video. I don't like to run on concrete, but I have no choice. I actually prefer to track. But if I have no choice and I have to work out, I'm out here. I'm gonna cool down. So I'll see y'all in the next clip. Right now I'm gonna do some chest. First, always adjust the seat, you know. Five one, so can't sit down too low. 
Sometimes I like to do both. It just feels good. And to isolate, I may just do one arm at a time. I generally don't count the warm ups, I just go until I go to, you know, I just listen to my body. Some people tug down on some of the machines. Some people prefer free race because they feel like it's more effective, more efficient for muscle building and training, but I don't want to demonize any or talk down on any machine because it may be good for physical therapy if you're recovering from an injury or if you're trying to build up strength for the free weights, this may be beneficial for that. Like, see the weight that I have on. Each side is a 25 pound plate. It's relative to your goals. It's relative to your strength. Just push, squeeze at the top. Remember to breathe, inhale, exhale. Oh my gosh. Ooh. And the more you do it, the heavier it gets. So I could just rep out 10 my first set. The second time I do it, it gets more and more challenging, even though it's the same weight, because my muscles are somewhat taxed. Here's that. I'm gonna warm up with some elevated heel goblet squats. So right now, this is just, again, the warm up. The effectiveness of this workout more so focuses on the quads and um, increases squat depth, increases mobility. So this is one way to implement a different type of squat variation into your routine without doing the same one, challenging yourself in different ways. So I'm gonna pick up the weight in a second, but this is more so again for the warm up. And I listen to my body for the warm up. I don't really count, just really go off of how I feel. So I'm feeling good right now, picking up the weight. Sometimes when we're not mindful of our form, what we do is we, especially, it's, it's, it's more complicated than being mindful of your form. Um, there's muscle groups that may be weaker than others. Sometimes when people perform a squat, they'll cave in like this. It's like pull themselves up or push themselves up. Instead of staying, you know, stationary and just pushing up with their quad, they'll try to overcompensate it and cave their knees in and just like push up this way, which is not good. If that happens and you notice it's happening while you're performing a squat, you gotta strengthen your glutes. Or we'll focus on strengthening that glute muscle, which is your derriere. Yep. Yeah. 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 Okay. Alright, touch it some back. Alright, yeah. This is 25 instead of the uh, 42 pound dumbbell. Jesus. Right now I'm gonna recreate a fish filet sandwich. This is the infamous McDonald's fish filet sandwich, but today I'm gonna create a cleaner version of the sandwich. Instead of cornstarch, I'm going to be using arrowroot. The ingredients call, or the recipe did call for club soda, and I don't have that. So the only thing I have is kombucha, so we're gonna experiment with that. We have seasoned cod already. It's been seasoned in here overnight, marinated, real tasty, nice ingredients. And I have breadcrumbs I'm gonna dip the cod into. I'm gonna season the breadcrumbs with some onion salt that I have here. So let's season that. My favorite part of this is adding the 
club soda to the cornstarch. The arrowroot is a substitute for cornstarch, so I like when you mix like the um, carbonated drinks into the arrowroot or the cornstarch, it bubbles up and it's just a satisfying thing to me to see. Okay, I'm gonna mix the kombucha into the arrowroot. Let's see if this will fizz up. And this is my first time using arrowroot as a substitute for cornstarch as well. So we're experimenting together. The idea of if you're not a fan of eggs, this would be something to help to stick the fish to so that it can stick to the breadcrumbs and be able to cook. I'm gonna air fry this instead of frying it regular. Spray my pan. Make sure that's nice and coated. Now for the fish. I normally like to use tongs, but I don't have any, so we're just gonna use our hands. Okay, dip it in the cornstarch. Mix. And now the breadcrumb. Get that all nicely coated. All right. What's this? Let's do the rest. This may or may not be necessary. I'm just gonna coat the top with some non-stick like spray it. and just hope that it doesn't dry or it looks dry at the top. <laughs> so you know, sometimes when you use the air fryer, it tends to dry out the, the food a little bit, not too much. So that extra moisture may help to keep it nice and crunchy. Okay, so we have the buns toasted on the pan. The cheese, I'm gonna see if I could try to put it on now. How is this supposed to be layered? Is cheese sauce, bun? I purchased, I got this sauce. It has cauliflower, almond butter, garlic, lemon juice, herb, shallots, dill. It's a replacement for tartar sauce. So I'm gonna use this instead of making my own like homemade fresh. All right, here we go. Put the cheese on top. Okay, bread. Nice. I know I should melt the sauce a little bit. I mean, I should melt the cheese a little bit, but. And please don't forget to hit like. Okay, let's make the second one. Cheese hasn't melted all the way, but I'm just gonna go ahead and take a little bite. Let's see what, let's go with this one. Hit. 